Welcome to Zerantic on time tracking, payroll, and absence management in Workday. I will be taking you through how to set up Workday to pay time. Configure earnings to retrieve calculated time. How payroll processes calculated time. Time tracking and absence management. And best practices for paying time. Disclaimer. The key things we'll cover are setting up payroll and time tracking period schedules, configuring earnings to retrieve calculated time, how payroll processes calculated time, time tracking and absence management, paying time. Before setting up payroll to pay time, the prerequisites are creating time calculation tags. Here are the key steps to set up payroll to pay time. First, Set up payroll and time tracking period schedules. Map time periods to pay periods to define. The dates for which workers can enter time. The dates for which payroll retrieves calculated time each pay period. Block out dates to prevent time entry while processing payroll. Extension, set up retro pay functionality. Use the run retro pay calculation task before running payroll each period to process prior period time adjustments and pay time on a lag. Then. Configure earnings to retrieve calculated time. And to have payroll process custom work tags associated with hours, set the work tag usage to payroll. As a result, during the run pay calculation task, Workday will retrieve the map time periods and filter for approved calculated time blocks with calculation tags that match the earnings. Before configuring earnings, the prerequisites are Having set up payroll and time tracking period schedules. Setting up retro pay functionality. To configure earnings to retrieve calculated time. First, access the create earning or edit earning task. Then in the worker eligibility section, add eligibility criteria. To prevent zero pay when no approved hours exist, select timesheet approved hours for earning zero. Next in calculation details, Define related calculations to aggregate hours with selected time calculation tags. For example, for an hourly pay earning, add hours, unparated, and select timesheet. Approved hours for earning for sub-period as the override value. Use override rates if configured for time entry codes. For example, add a rate calculation with time tracking. Override rate for time block as the override value. Finally, on the time tab, Specify which time to pay with the earning using time calculation tags. Payroll will only pull time blocks with the tags you select. You can map the same tag to multiple earnings, but can't use the same hours in more than one net to gross result. For earnings to process time blocks, the blocks must have all the tags selected in one row or all tags specified across multiple rows. As a result, payroll will retrieve approved time with matching calculation tags. Let's look at how payroll processes calculated time when integrated with time tracking. First, Workday Payroll can pay employees for approved time tracked in time tracking. To link the applications, you must map earnings to time calculation tags and link time periods to pay periods. During the run pay calculation task, Workday 1. Retrieves the time periods mapped to the pay period. 2 determines the date range for pulling time based on those time periods. If processing a subperiod, Workday looks for time on or after the subperiod start date and on or before the earlier of the subperiod end date or time period end date. For each earning, Workday retrieves approved time with matching calculation tags. Here are some best practices for payroll administrators. Before each payroll, Use the Run Retro Pay Calculation task to process prior period corrections when paying time on a lag. Run payroll when the time period is locked to prevent time entry. Users with security can change the lock date if more time is needed. Recalculate payroll as needed using the Run Pay Calculation task. When aggregating time, Workday creates separate payroll result lines for each combination of work tags and override rates from time blocks. Time is aggregated by position for workers with multiple jobs. When using override rates, if configured for a time code, you can enter an override rate for a time block. 
The rate is then available in payroll calculations using the time tracking. Override rate instance value. Let's move on to time tracking and absence management. When using both workday time tracking and absence management, you can configure time offs to be requested or entered through time tracking, or allow both options. Time off entered through request time off displays on the time tracking calendar when submitted. With calendar based time entry, you can access request time off and enter time off from the time entry calendar. Enter time off is only available if request time off has security groups defined for the enter time off initiating action. To include time off hours in calculations and calendar totals, use create time off to assign calculation tags to time offs. For example, to count PTO as regular hours for overtime calculations, assign the regular tag to PTO. Time offs inherit any calculation tags from the time off object. Calculations don't add or remove other tags. There are three options for entering time off. Through time tracking only. Select the time off and time type when entering time. Time off and work time is submitted together. Uses the enter time business process for approval. Reduces the balance after approval and updates pending balance when saved. Through absence management only. Use request time off or enter time off tasks. Uses request time off business process for approval. Reduces the balance after approval. Doesn't update pending balance when saved. Through both. Enter in either time tracking or request time off. Uses associated business process for approval. Reduces the balance after approval. Pending balance depends on method. Use create time off to configure. Calculation tags. Entry option. Whether start and end times are required if entering through time tracking. Time offs and codes with the same tags must use the same units. With time offs requiring start and end times. Workers enter times when requesting through time tracking. Workday calculates the duration based on those times. Workers can correct times using correct time off to update the duration. To pay time off. Map earnings to absence component calculations, not time calculation tags. You can base accruals on calculated time. For example, create an accrual for overtime compensatory time off. Assign tags to specify which time blocks accrue compensatory time. For the calculation, use calculated time for period of accrual to some tagged hours. You can also create your own accrual calculation using calculated time for period of accrual. For example, to accrue two hours per four hours of overtime. When mapping a tag to an accrual, the balance increases immediately upon saving or submitting tag time blocks. Use create accrual to configure. The calculation. Time calculation tags. Accruals and time codes with the same tags must use the same units. You can still use absence management tasks for adjustments, overrides and corrections to approve time off. Correct time off. Maintain accrual and time off adjustments overrides. Maintain time off plan override balances. Maintain accrual and time off limit overrides. Here are some common questions around paying time. To prevent time entry during payroll, enter lock dates on the time period schedule. To extend a lockout period, an administrator can change the lock dates. If a worker has both reported time and payroll input, workday processes both. To change a work tag on reported time, use enter time for worker and recalculate payroll. If time is entered after payroll completes, use run retro pay calculation before the next on cycle payroll. Correcting paid time changes its status to modified after paid. Workday picks up the corrected time after approval when you run retro pay calculation. Be sure all corrections are approved before retro pay calculation to prevent negative retro differences. Use the create accrual task to configure these fields. Calculation. Time calculation tags. Cruels and time entry codes that have the same calculation tags must use the same units. Regardless of how workers enter time off, you can use these absence management tasks for adjustments and overrides. Correct time off. 
Once time off has been approved, it can only be corrected using the correct time off task. Maintain accrual and time off adjustment slash overrides. Maintain time off plan override balances. Maintain accrual and time off limit overrides. Leaves. Employees can enter and submit time through time tracking while they are on leave unless you create a time validation to prevent submission. How can we prevent employees from entering time when we're running payroll? Enter lock dates on the time period schedule. See setup payroll and time tracking period schedules. Payroll is taking longer than we expected this pay period. Can we extend the lockout period for time entry? Yes. An administrator with the appropriate security can change the lock dates for the time period schedule. Thank you for watching our video and please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.